Hey there, it's Mr. Damon. I want to know how your day went today. So in order to do that, let's play a little game. It's called Lowlights and Highlights. A lowlight is something that happened to you today that maybe you didn't like or wasn't super fun. A highlight is something that happened that you loved. So think about it for a moment. What was the low light of the day? And if there's somebody there with you, why don't you share it with them? Okay, now, what is a highlight from today? Something that happened that you really enjoyed. Go ahead and share that. Now, I'm gonna make a guess here. And my guess is that maybe, just maybe, one of your favorite moments from today probably included one or two of your friends. Is that right? If not, that's okay. But friends are some of the best things in the world, aren't they? What's your favorite thing to do when you get to hang out with your friends? To play Legos, video games, build forts, talk? What's your favorite thing to do when you spend time with your friends? Because friends are the best. They're a whole bunch of fun. They make us laugh. They help us when we're sad. And they talk with us. I'm so glad that God invented friends. Did you know that? He did. Friendship was his idea. He owns the patent for friends. Why? Because God is a God that loves friendship. Did you know that Jesus wants to be your best friend? In fact, he's the best friend you could ever have because he's always with you and he loves you no matter what. And that's what tonight's story is all about. You see, after rolling into Jerusalem on the donkey, while the city celebrated his arrival, Jesus found a small, quiet, private room. There was something that he needed to do with his friends. He and his disciples were going to celebrate a special holiday called Passover. Every year during Passover in Israel, the entire country would be at home with their family and their friends to eat a very special meal together. And they would eat this meal to remember how God saved their ancestors from slavery in Egypt. Jewish families still celebrate Passover today. But that night, Jesus and his 12 friends sat around a low wooden table in the small room, eating, laughing, and telling funny stories. Then, Jesus stopped talking for a moment, and he looked at each of his disciples sitting around him. He smiled for a moment and said, you're my best friends. I love you so much, and I'll always take care of you. The disciples became quiet and looked back at Jesus. Every time he spoke, it was like hearing the sound of love. Then, Jesus surprised them by saying something they didn't expect. He said, This is the last time I'm going to celebrate Passover with you before we all get together in heaven. He said this because Jesus knew it was almost time for him to go to the cross and die. He was going to give his life to rescue humanity. Jesus went on and said, Always remember how much I love you. Remember that I am with you and that I am the one who takes care of you. Remember that I am giving my life for you because I love you and want to fix your broken relationship with the Heavenly Father. And then Jesus shocked them all by telling them that one of the 12 disciples, Judas, would betray Jesus and tell the religious leaders how and when to arrest him and put him in jail so that they could crucify him. But it got worse. 
Jesus then told the disciples that every one of them was going to run away and abandon Jesus when the religious leaders came to arrest him. They were all speechless. They couldn't believe it. No, they would never leave Jesus. Then Peter, the disciple, slammed his fist on the table and shouted, I'll never do that, Jesus. I will protect you. And the other disciples all joined in and said the same thing. They couldn't understand what Jesus was talking about. But they also knew, deep down, that Jesus also always told the truth. So as Jesus looked at his broken-hearted friends, he said, Guys, I still love you, even though you're all going to hurt me. After I come back from the dead, I'll find you, and I'll help you. I'm not going to give up on you, even though you're going to give up on me. Because guess what? That's what friends do. So they all left the small room and walked out to a place on top of a mountain called the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus' disciples were sad because they heard that he had to die. They were sad because he told them that they would betray him. But Jesus told them that he was not going to leave forever. He was going to go to heaven for a little while, but soon his friends would see him again. It was the whole reason Jesus came to earth. This was the rescue plan. Jesus had to die. He had to be buried, and he had to come back to life in order to forgive our sin and to fix our broken relationship with God. But Jesus also told his friends that he would never leave them alone. He was going to send the Holy Spirit, his spirit, the Spirit of God, and that once Jesus' spirit came into the earth, he would make his home on the inside of every single person that said yes to Jesus' love. It's like having your best friend with you all the time. Because of the Holy Spirit, we get to be with Jesus wherever we go. Let's do this. Let's take a moment and let's talk to Jesus together. Why don't we say this? Say, Jesus, thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for never giving up on me. Even when I forget about you, you don't forget about me. Even when I ignore you and do things I know are wrong, you keep loving me. Jesus, thank you for your rescue plan. Thank you for choosing me. And thank you for making me your friend. Amen. Do you know what? Tomorrow is going to be a great day. And a lot of wonderful things are going to happen. And maybe some things you don't like too. But that's okay. Because Jesus is with us. And he's always there to help us no matter where we go. Have a wonderful night's sleep and sweet dreams, and I can't wait to talk with you tomorrow. Good night.